hello everyone welcome back to a new session on dentistry and more so today we have phases of uh, mixed dentition so we know mixed dentition it is between 6 to 12 to 30 years where the tooth is um, inclusive of both deciduous and permanent dentition so mixed dentition period is basically divided into first transitional period intertransitional period and second transitional period so in today's session we will be seeing about first transitional period so what are the changes uh, happening in first transitional period and uh, the occlusional changes and uh, other uh, tooth eruption and uh, the exchange of the deciduous tooth by permanent teeth so let's move on to the topic that is first transitional period so the first thing what happens is the eruption of first permanent molars so that is 6666 so first permanent molars are erupted during the first transitional period and it actually depends on the distal surface relationship of second deciduous molars so that is second deciduous molars upper and lower relationship that we will be seeing in uh, occlusional uh, changes so first molar erupts during the first transitional period and depends on the distal surface relationship of upper and lower second deciduous molars. So that is a molar emergence. And the second thing happens during the first transitional period is the exchange of primary incisors with permanent incisors. So this A represents the primary incisors and the one represents the permanent incisors so this primary incisors is replaced by permanent incisors so let's move on to the occlusion so what happens with the occlusion during first transitional period so the deciduous teeth occlusion is three types that is flesh terminal plane mesial step and distal step so I have given a picture that is flesh terminal plane mesial step and distal step so flesh terminal plane is uh, mostly give rise to class 1 or class 2 or end to end relationship class 1 is utilizing the late mesial shift so mesial shift early and late mesial shift will be dealing in the next session so that is flesh terminal plane and the second one mesial step so mesial step most commonly gives to class 1 in permanent dentition or it gives rise to class 3 and distal step will always will leads to class 2 so let's see flesh terminal plane so flesh terminal plane is this one so it can give rise to class 1 or class 2 or end to end relationship in the permanent dentition when the molars erupts whereas a mesial step it can give rise to class 3 or class 1 so class 1 is the most desirable one and the distal step is always will give us to class 2 relationship in the permanent addition so that's about uh, first transitional period so I repeat what happens is the emergence of molars and uh, replacement of the deciduous uh, perm, uh, deciduous central incisors with permanent incisors and changes in occlusion what happens is the three types of occlusion that is flesh terminal plane, mesial step and distal so flesh terminal plane will uh, lead to class 1, class 2 or end to end relationship class 1 utilizing the late mesial shift and mesial step leads to class 1 or class 3 most commonly the class 1 and the distal step will always give rise to class 2 uh, relationship, occlusal relationship or molar relationship in permanent teeth so that's all about uh, the first transitional phase so i'll come up with the inter transitional and second transitional phase in my next video thank you